I didn't share it, so. <laughs> so, we read the story, Charles. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the theme and the main idea of Charles. So, the theme is identity, because Lori starts off as a sweet-voiced nursery school taught who suddenly becomes reckless and rude with his parents when he enters kindergarten. So, when children are so young, it's a little difficult to know who they are, especially joining kindergarten, because it's so new to them. Lori is just a kindergartner, and he just doesn't know what he's doing. He's little. He's so young, he does not know much about himself yet, and perhaps the only way he knows how to deal with his emotions is by being mean. And an example of him being mean with his parents specifically, he speaks with his mouth full, he no longer waves goodbye to his mother when he leaves for school, and he's rude when he's speaking to his father. Specifically, at one point, he called his father an old dust mop. I don't know. But if you'll notice throughout the story, his parents never correct his behavior. At one point, his father did say, now you, nothing else. Just little finger way doesn't do much. So a minor theme is pay attention to your kids. Know that they're acting up. Because in Lori's case, him acting up, he made up an entire new person. He was named Charles. And he was the boy who misbehaved in Lori's kindergarten class. So Charles begins by being fresh with the teacher, which means he has a smart mouth. Then he goes on, he hits the teacher, he bounces the seesaw on a girl's head, he interrupted story time, and his bad behavior gets increasingly worse until it suddenly stops. And the weird part is, when Charles acted up in class, all of his classmates still liked him and wanted to play with him. And Charles <coughs> began to help the teacher and stop misbehaving until he started to tell a little girl to say a curse word, and then he also started to say curse words himself, which is not good for a kindergartner. Now here's the kicker. Charles is not real. Lori made up Charles. Do we know why exactly? No. But Charles is just a figment of Lori's imagination that he projects his bad behaviors onto, as children often do, because something you will learn, children reflect their own emotions onto teddy bears. That's why you'll see teddy bears have a neutral expression or a smile, so the kid can be sad, and the teddy bear is sad with them. It's a bonding thing. So a generalization that can be made about this story Children lie. Does every child lie? No, but that's why it's a generalization. And a major theme is children project their feelings onto other people and other objects because it helps them deal with changing and growing up and getting older. And that's tough, that's tough, you know? If we move on over here, we'll get to the part about his parents a little more in depth. Now, Lori's coming home from school every day talking about Mom, Charles did this, Charles did that. His parents became invested in the saga of Charles, despite their own son misbehaving right in front of him. Like I stated earlier, he was being rude to his father, chewing with his mouth full, just being disrespectful, and his parents did nothing to stop it. But obviously, Lori, at home, misbehaves in smaller ways than Charles does in kindergarten. Lori acts out in minor ways, like being a little rude with his parents, while Charles is often violent when, he hit, when he's acting up, hitting or kicking figures of authority. And an assumption could be made, maybe Charles does this because Lori wishes he could do this to his parents. Twisted, but true. And back to, Lori is just a kindergartner. Hopefully his behavior will improve once his mother realizes that she's been ignoring all the obvious cues that her son was Charles all along, because if we remember at the very end of the story, Charles, or Lori's mom went to the kindergarten tea meet with all the other parents there, and she was like, oh, I really want to meet Charles' mom and just see where this child came from. And she asked the teacher, you know, how's Charles? You know, I bet it's hard having him in your class. And the teacher goes, we don't have Charles. And the story ended right there. Pretty good ending. We don't know what happens to Lori afterwards. But with the issue of Lori making up Charles, he maybe made it up in a kind of a sad way because his parents, by not correcting his behavior, were kind of ignoring him. And Charles is still friends with all the children, even though he acts out. But do you think Lori is really friends with all the children? Or does he make Charles act that way because he wishes? What do y'all think? Any opinions? He wishes. He wishes? Why so? Just guessing. Just guessing? Yeah, I don't know. Be. All right. Be Anybody else? 
right? So there's our little mind map about Charles. Our theme is identity. Remember everything I'm saying. Theme is identity. The minor theme is pay attention to your kids. Main idea, Laurie lies to his parents about Charles because they almost encourage him to tell stories about Charles every day. They're more interested to hear about Charles than they are Lori because they never ask Lori what he's up to. It's always Charles. And then we have the generalization of children lie and the major theme of children project their feelings on other people or objects. Now, keeping all this in mind, I have a little activity for you guys to do. So what I'm gonna have y'all do, you're gonna come up to the board, I'll pick you with equity sticks so it's fair, and I want you to drag these underneath the right statement and put the right idea with it. So for the theme, I'll, right here would be like main idea, theme, major theme, and all that. In Charles, up here are the definitions. So first we're gonna sign back in. That is bubble love to get them out. And we are going to start with Shelby. Shelby here? Not here. Not here. All right. Madison. Nope. All right. Griffin. Not here. Carter. He's here. We have somebody. Hurrah. And also, I got these from the names on Canvas, so I'm sorry if it's not your actual name. Can you type theme to what the correct definition is and what the correct, uh, correct theme is for Charles? I don't know, was it? Excellent job. Boy. All right, next, can I get Deanna? All right, I'm going to have you connect generalization to the correct definition and idea for Charles. Come over here so you can do it. It's okay. <laughs> Major theme. Uh, major theme. Uh, whatever you get there. Okay. 